Was geht, it's Feltz and in today's video I want to reassess a question that I have discussed many times over the past few months and it's one that is very commonly asked, especially by newcomers to the scene. And that question is, well it can actually be split open and grouped into three questions, the first being, when will these cases be removed from the active drop pool, the second, which case will be removed next, and the third, are these cases good investments? Well, I'm going to answer these questions to the best of my ability and hopefully after this video you will be able to make a more educated decision. Though of course, as with any of my videos, please make sure to do additional research yourself. I even have a video that will be in the description where I give a ton of different sources to do your own research. Okay, now let's get into the video. First, why am I making this again? Well, apart from the fact that I, as mentioned, am getting asked about Prisma 2, Danger Zone and especially the Clutch case again, there also is a good chance that the Dreams and Nightmares case releases this week. If that case is an active drop, it's likely that one case is removed from the active drop pool and made into a rare drop. So those of you who don't know, that basically means that the case, instead of dropping a few million times every month, will from now on just drop a few thousand times per month. An event like this is also accompanied by a short term hype for the case, so there is a chance to make a quick flip potentially. The last time a case was moved to rare it was the Prisma case back in May and it almost doubled in price before now returning to its previous price point. This time, there are three favorites to be moved, so let's look at the candidates. First, in the right corner, <coughs> sorry, first we have the Prisma 2 case, which was released in April 2020 and is the newest of these. As I already said, Prisma 1 was the last to move to rare, so do Valve also move the second case in the first rotation since? Second, we have the Danger Zone case, which released in December 2018 as part of the Danger Zone update. Almost three years as an active drop. Wow, I wonder if the next case can beat it. And yes, it does. The Clutch case, the final candidate, released in February 2018. So if it doesn't move to the rare pool before the Operation Riptide ends, it will have been an active drop for four years. Okay, now, we've established that the Dreams and Nightmares case release could potentially result in one of these moving to rare. It's also possible that none move and we get six active drops for the next few months. In that case, the next case to move to rare would do so in February 2021, as it's expected that we will get a new case after Operation Riptide concludes on February 22nd. And before investing into these, that's important to consider. If you invest into any of these right now, there is a chance you will not see your money back for not only just a few months, but also a few years. It's totally possible that one of these cases remains an active drop until 2023 at least and until then you should keep opportunity cost in mind as well. Now let's speculate on which case could move to the rare pool next. For that let's first look at this chart by Fiedic who collects data on how often cases are unboxed in each month thanks to the website csgofloat.com's database. Out of the active drops the clutch case is the most unboxed and has been the most unboxed every month of this year pretty much. The Riptide case is an operation drop, not an active one. The Danger Zone case is pretty close to the Prisma 2 case, though the former did end up with a slightly higher number for this month. Prisma 2 and Danger Zone both have Horizon Knives as their rare special item. The Danger Zone case has them in OG finishes and Prisma 2 in Chroma finishes. If you look at their counterparts, we can see that Prisma has had 580k or so unboxings and Horizon less than 300k, which gives a pretty clear picture that the Chroma finishes seem to be more popular. The unboxing difference also tells us that rare special items seem more relevant to the case unboxer, since Horizon and Danger Zone's coverts are actually way better. Meanwhile, the clutch case has the second generation gloves, which includes the Sport Gloves Vice, among others. In Factory New, which is incredibly rare to get, these gloves can go for over 18,000 euros. And the clutch case is the only case with these gloves, so it makes sense why it's so hyped up as an investment. As far as each case's chances to be rare next, overall it of course depends on what Valve want to do, so all we can do is try to make an educated guess. As I've said, Prisma 2 is rather unlikely since Prisma was moved last, and Prisma 2 is just 18 months old. Most people think Danger Zone is the likeliest to be moved for three reasons. One, it's very old. Two, it's not that demanded. And most importantly, three, the older clutch case is demanded a lot. The thinking goes like this, Valve makes 7 plus million dollars every month through clutch case unboxings. It's a money printer that would just become way more expensive and unboxed less if it was moved to rare, so why would Valve do that? They would rather remove Danger Zone, where there wouldn't really be a penalty because really, just about any new case would seamlessly take over its demand. And as we can see by these numbers, even though the Snakebite case also includes gloves, it barely has half the demand the clutch case has. So the clutch case is really a special one. So the most likeliest case to be moved to rare based on speculation and this line of thinking is the Danger Zone case. And either a lot of people think so recently as well, or someone just bought a whole bunch of Danger Zone cases because the price increased to 6 euro cents recently on the Steam market. 
This doesn't mean anything other than speculation however, so don't fall for it without any evidence. In my opinion, the thinking that Danger Zone is moved next does make sense, but it's not something that can be discussed in absolutes. Most people are waiting for Clutch to become rare so they can invest into it, yes. And the price is slightly to quickly double, if not more, in a short amount of time, yes. But how big is the penalty really for removing it? Let's say the Dreams and Nightmares case has average knives like the Horizon knives in Gamma or the Shattered Web knives in Chroma finishes. If you move Danger Zone, the new case will take over the demand seamlessly since people often open the cases they get dropped. Danger Zone would probably be opened a couple hundred thousand times at that point. If you move the clutch case and the new case has average demand at about 1.5 million or so after it normalizes in price, then clutch would have to somehow maintain unboxing numbers of 2 million or so to provide Valve with the same revenue as before. The highest unboxing numbers for a rare drop right now are 1.1 million for the Broken Fang case. Do we think Clutch maintains twice that? I'm not saying it won't, I'm asking you. Or is the demand for it rather pushed over to other cases like the Snakebite case or the Riptide case and this all doesn't matter? Or does the new case just have enough demand itself to make up for a potential deficit in Clutch's numbers? So while Clutch moving to Rare would be great for investors, this is the kind of thinking Valve would have to do, at least it would seem logical, to decide whether to put Clutch to the Rare pool or not. How does it affect their revenue? They have people way more qualified than I thinking about this sort of stuff, or at least I'd think so. The reasoning that Clutch will move to Rare because it's the oldest case only matters in the context that it just doesn't have much demand anymore. At that point, you can just remove a case that, by the way, has insane supply already and will just slowly become more expensive long term as its large supply slowly goes down and Valve wouldn't really have any sort of penalty to worry about. With the Clutch case, you have the most demanded case which is the important factor to keep in mind. So to conclude, let's discuss the final question. Are these good investments right now? And are these good investments once they are rare? Well, first, here's my stance on investing into these right now. And beware, this comes from a guy holding 769 Danger Zone cases, 124 Prisma 2 cases, and one clutch case that I got dropped yesterday. I don't think investing into these is a good idea unless you use just a small part of your budget on these and understand that you might have to wait years to make any sort of profit. Even then, the supply for these will be larger with every month they remain in active drop, while there will be tons of other cases and other investments becoming rarer and hopefully more expensive until that time. For example, I have about 30 euros invested into Danger Zone, which is like 1% or so of my entire budget. Something like that I think is okay. It's an amount I'm fine with having in these cases for diversification's sake, but that's for you to decide. I wouldn't put much more than that into Danger Zone or Prisma 2, however, since even if those two cases do become rare, it's fair to question whether they'll be so profitable as you think. Danger Zone and Horizon were active drops for years, and I think the supply is too large and the demand too little to carry these cases to prices higher than where they are at right now at least short term so you could just as well pick danger zone up after it's rare and the hype for it passes prisma 2 has only been an active drop for 18 months and prisma for two years so the supply there should be much lower but again i don't see these cases stonking anytime quick with both danger zone and prisma 2 there's potential for a quick flip yes which is something you could and possibly should take advantage of but long term it's very likely you'll find a good price to invest in these even after they're rare now with the clutch case, it's more interesting. I think a great flipping opportunity is pretty much guaranteed after it's rare. Who knows where its price would peak at, but it's the only case with second generation gloves and will be very demanded by unboxers still. The supply for it is insane, so you're still looking for a long-term investment if you want sustainable growth, but it's a case where you would indeed miss out on profit if it's rare and you miss out on the couple hour or so buying window. I'll say this, I don't own any myself and you should also be comfortable with missing out worst case. The price dropped from 40 cents at its peak to 12 cents today and there's no guarantee it's moved this month, in February or even in 2022 so you might be stuck with this investment as well or worst case lose a few cents on each case. If you wanted to invest into the clutch case especially, but pretty much any of these three cases, do understand that it's a gamble and a potential money trap for a considerable amount of time. That's pretty much the conclusion of this video. It's up to you to weigh the risks and rewards. I personally think I'll be ready and waiting if an update drops, so I'm fine with waiting until then, but if you're sleeping during update time and want to gamble a little bit, sure, go ahead. But I personally am going to invest most of my funds into rare cases or discontinued items. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for watching this video as well. Have a good one.